Good afternoon. Has everyone had a good conference? Yeah? Let's, um, I just want to say thank you to Keith, to Matthew, to Fernay, to May, to the whole team for just putting on another excellent conference. Should we give them a round of applause? So, oh, here we go. This gets confusing too. I put mine down. I'm going to get this one. Um, so, um, I, I want to talk to, and announce something new that the WLA are going to do, the Wireless and Association. Um, just before I do that, I'm aware that some people may not know who we were, uh, so I just want to start with a very quick introduction about who we are and what we're going to be doing and what we're doing. So, um, to start things off, then, really, um, the Wireless and Association is a non-profit professional association for the WLAN industry. Um, and we seek really to further the industry by supporting professionals who work in it through education, um, through supporting them, recognition, representation. Um, and we're doing that to some extent by building a community of individuals. Um, we're, we're, building a community through things like webinars, training sessions. We've just been hosting some Ask Me Anything sessions, which some of you may have attended, but they've been very well received. Um, we're also doing local chapter meetups, which I'm going to chat about just at the end, some ones that are coming up. But this is where we just have local members in different places get together to chat about Wi-Fi and share ideas, share experiences. Um, with people who are close by and build those relationships. We're also um, trying to produce documentation, things like standardized frameworks and best practice documentation, which is the, the aim of to do is to basically try and support the industry for, and people working in it with documents that they can use to help them to produce wireless networks which work and work first time. That's who we are. What do I want to talk about today? Well, I want to announce the Wireless LAN Association Mentor Scheme, which is something we've been working quite hard to define um, over the last few months. So what are WLA mentors? They're a group of recognized experts who share a common goal to grow and further the industry and to grow and the industry by supporting both individuals, supporting the industry as a whole, and also potentially publishing documents, which we'll talk about a little bit on. But let's start by supporting individuals. Now, in my career, I've been very lucky to have many mentors which have helped both define me and improve me as an individual, as a professional, technically mentor me, in, in many different ways to help me to be able to um, do some of the things I do now. And if it wasn't for some of those individuals, I wouldn't be stood up on the stage now talking. I, I think a good mentor is a bit like sandpaper. That um, sandpaper, sort of you rub against something and it refines it, doesn't it, and smooths it down. And sometimes in our life, we need someone to come along and refine us. Um, and, 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 and knock the rough, ed rough edges off us. Um, and that's what a lot of people have done in my career, and I'm really thankful for those people. So what are we going to do with, um, how are our mentors going to support individuals? Um, well, it's a way for our, the members of the Wireless and Association to contact and get in contact with seasoned professionals. This could be in one of two ways. We've got, um, it might be that you have a particular problem you need help with. You've got a technical question. It might be you're trying to deploy a particular system and you're struggling with a, an, an element of it and you need some help and support. It could be that you've, you know, you've got a trace file, a packet trace file you've captured and you don't really understand what you're seeing and you just want to ask someone who might be able to help you interpret what you're seeing. So there's going to be a forum where you can ask questions of a group of experts who can potentially help you and support you with particular issues you're having. And it's not going to be like a public forum, which you have already out on the internet, where a lot of the times you've got questions which 
because of confidentiality issues, you can just put on a public forum. So this is a way of asking a select group of individuals that can help you personally with the issue you're having. The other type of mentoring that I think people often talk about wanting is what I would class as one-on-one -on -one mentoring. Um, this is where you want to be mentored through a particular process or in a particular technology. Um, so we're going to have a way for our members to request one-on-one -on -one mentoring where you can say, hey, I'm trying to study for a CWNA certification. I'd like someone to mentor me through it. Or I'd like someone to mentor me through a Cisco exam and a Ruby exam. Um, and you will put a request in. There will be a way of saying where you are, so what time zone you're in. And then that will be able to be viewed, all the requests by the current mentors, who will be able to see that and take ownership of one of those requests. So our mentors might go, oh, actually, yeah, I could help someone out in that program. I'm in the same time zone. And then they would take responsibility for that request and get in touch with the individual. So as an organization, really what we're seeking to do is put people who, and, and mentors in touch with one another. Um, so that that can happen. So that's supporting individuals. In terms of supporting the industry as a whole, we also want um, this to be a group of industry experts who can advise and comment on industry happenings, whether they're standards which are being produced, programs which are being produced. It might be a case that we create from the group of mentors the ones that want to be in special interest groups, which maybe could advise um, and offer support for companies like um, the Wi-Fi Alliance. Um, Perry was just talking about how, you know, get involved. That we have been thinking about whether maybe the WLA could even become a member of the Wi-Fi Alliance. And there might be ways we can have a special interest group there to communicate and with them. So there's a whole host of things this group might be able to do. Um, but also, we want to represent the people who are designing, deploying, administrating wireless networks in the industry. And you get things like, there's been talks on WPA version 3 this week. And I know one common that came up. You know, there's a lot of really great things defined in it. But I remember when it was actually published, there was some disappointment that there were so many elements that were optional. So wouldn't it be great as an organization we could officially respond to things like published documents and put forward how we feel about it um, in some sort of official response? So again, the mentors potentially will be a group of people that can think about drafting responses um, up to industry happenings. Um, so, the idea is that basically to grow the industry. Um, also, mentors will have um, opportunities to contribute to the WLA through blogs, webinars, the Ask Me Anything sessions. So there's going to be a whole host of ways that mentors can contribute um, to what we're doing. So how is this scheme going to work and how are we going to get it off the ground? Well, the executive board of the current executive board of the Wilson Association have been carefully selecting and putting together a list and voting on a list of who will be the founding or who we're going to invite to become the founding WLA mem mentors. These are people who we consider at the top of sort of the industry experts currently in, in our industry. And we want to set the bar for these founding members high initially. Because the idea is, if when we invite them and if they accept the invitation to come on board, is we've got a group of people who will actually define the program going forward. I don't want it just to be me or another four of us sat in a room dreaming up this scheme. I want the mentors themselves to define how the program is going to go forward in the future. So. After the founding members, we'll have some sort of application process to become a mentor. People are about to apply. But I'm gonna, we're going to have the founding mentors define what that looks like and define um, potentially a review board to review applications and what level that should be. Because we feel that that's the best way to keep the quality high is to have the people who are the experts to define what um, the, the mentor scheme should look like. So that's the idea. When is it likely to happen? Well, we've 
probably the invitations I suspect will go out in about five to six weeks. That will coincide with some new functionality that's been added to our website, so watch out for that. Um, and so it, it probably within sort of six weeks. We'll then wait and see what the responses to the invitations to the mentors, and we'll try and then from there build out a mentor scheme, and eventually there'll be a way for other people, an application process for people to become mentors as well. That's the mentor scheme that I wanted to talk about. Just before, I hope you think it's a good idea. I'd welcome any comments. Uh, come and chat to me about it. Um, if there's things you don't like that I've said, let me know that as well. Um, I want to just finish by talking about some homecoming events which are happening, some local chapter meetups. We've got our second UK local chapter meetup on the 5th of April um, in the south of England in a place called Reading. There's going to be the second Dutch event happening on the 12th of April. Um, and I've been really keen to get some US ones going. And we've been checking this conference. There's going to be two in Arkansas. The actual date hasn't been decided. There'll be one up in the north, and then there'll be one at Titan Wrench happening later on in the year. So watch out for the days of those. Again, if you're a member of the WLA and you'd like to um, set up a local chapter, you'd like to run local events, then please do. If you want help in knowing how to do that, come and chat to either myself or any member of the executive team, and we're here to try and support you, help you get that event up and running, get the chapter started. Um, we will have a list of all local chapters on the website with the new functionality that's been added to the website. Should hopefully go live in around six weeks' time. Um, and that's what I have to say. Thank you very much.